Welcome back to Tam's Tips. Today's tech tip is in regards to Adobe Premiere Pro. I've been having a problem in there regarding audio. When I drag a clip from the bin into the timeline, Adobe Premiere Pro can't see all of the audio. So about a third of the waveform is missing. Now I haven't found a solution to this problem. I've looked on Adobe's website and forums and YouTube and everybody seems to be talking about all of the audio missing. But my problem is that only partial audio is missing. Let me show you what's going on and let me show you my workaround. Let's dive into the computer. This is a MacBook Pro. The year is 2013, late 2013 it's called and it is a 13 inch. I'm running the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. Um, actually, that's not, I don't think that's the latest version. I've tried several different ones and I have the audio problem no matter which one so far. So I've captured a tape. Here I am, I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro, I've gone into capture, I've labeled my tape name, my clip name, I've hit record, I've done my capture, right? So pretend we're past the capture point. Once it's captured, here's my clip. Now, if I go and look at this clip in the computer, like in the guts of the program, we'll just call it that. So backing up, I'm in Documents, Adobe, Premiere Pro 14 is the one that I'm running and working in. If I go to Captured Video and I go to this project that I'm doing right now, here is the clip that I actually captured that Adobe Premiere Pro is referencing. Okay, so here's the clip. It's called Family History Tape 8. If I play this clip, it's perfect. The audio is there all the way through. Here's a preview. I'm going to skip through the preview. There's audio all the way through. No problem. Now, the problem comes back in Adobe Premiere Pro. If I drag this completely fine MOV clip that I've captured to my timeline, you will see that only two thirds of the audio comes in to the timeline. Now again, I have researched this. I've been trying to find anybody else that's having this exact problem and I have not found anybody so far. Usually, all the audio is there or all the audio is not there. My problem is that it's partially there and it drops out. So zooming in on our timeline, here we have it. And then it drops out. Now it's just gone. This has been really annoying because, um, I mean, for obvious reasons, what I've had to do is go back to the tape. So say this is a two hour long tape. I have to go back and find this spot where the audio goes out and then recapture from that point on. Now you can imagine how hard it would be with a tape that there's only one setup. Like these people were being interviewed for the whole entire two hours, um, just like this. And so um, it was really difficult. I just had to really listen hard to what they were talking about and then go find that point on the tape and basically get there, yes, using time code, that helped as well. But then um, I just had to start the tape slightly before where the audio cuts out so I could overlap my capture. And then I've got to edit a little bit. So just really annoying. And that next capture that I would do, say I drop it to the timeline, it only has two thirds of the audio. So if this represents the whole tape and then I do another capture, then I've got, you know, to there with the audio. Then I have to do it again. I have to go find out where it dropped out, recapture, and then I get a little bit more. And then I get a little bit more. And then I have to edit all those together. So annoying because again, in the, in the back end of the program, all the clips that I'm capturing have audio and they're great. It's just Adobe Premiere Pro's interpretation of those clips. Now, I did see online that other people were going into Premiere Pro preferences, going under the media cache and clearing out the cache. I'll show you how to do this here. 
right here, remove media cache files and you delete them all. And then you have to restart the program, I heard one person say, okay. But I've done that over and over again and it did not help. I still had this audio problem with partial audio. Here's my workaround. If this problem matches your problem, don't recapture and recapture and recapture like I did. Go to the original file in the back end of the Adobe Premiere Pro program. I showed you again how to get there. Documents, Adobe, Premiere Pro. Go into the version you're running. I'm doing, I'm running 14. Captured video. Go into the project that you're working on. Go to this file. I'm gonna right click, open with QuickTime. Once it's open, I'm gonna go file, export as audio only. Basically, I'm gonna get a snapshot of that audio and you can put it anywhere. I'm gonna put it in that same um, folder where my video is, so documents, Adobe, Premiere Pro, 14, Primo, Premiere Pro video, my project that I'm working on, and then I'm going to save the audio out as its own. Now it makes an M4A, then as soon as that's done, I can go back into Adobe Premiere Pro, match them up, and um, do it that way. So I don't have to keep recapturing and refinding the spot on the tapes. Oh, as soon as I realized I could do this, which seems obvious now, but it was not an obvious solution to me at, at first. But now that I found it, I'm like, well, yeah, duh, just go get the good audio and bring it in. Um, I guess it wasn't an option very first in my mind because when you start doing stuff like that, I don't want to compromise any of the audio or compress it or, you know, here I am giving, getting the audio from QuickTime now. But you know what? especially with these DV tapes that I'm doing, it doesn't matter. Um, and the audio is gonna be great. So, looks like it's almost done, less than a minute. Okay, so it's finally done. You can go ahead and close the QuickTime out. Now, I can either drag and drop my new audio file into Adobe Premiere, or I can just, if I'm already in Adobe Premiere, I can do Command-I for import, and then go get it. Probably easier to drag and drop it, but I want to show you both ways. So here it is, M4A, import. There it is over on the side. Now I'm going to drag and drop this in here. And it is the exact, it's an exact copy. So I've got my snapping on. So it just snaps right in place. Okay, I'm going to hit the plus button to zoom in a little bit. And the waveform should be all matched up. I think they are. That finally reached the age of older students. So, uh, <laughs> there we go. It is matched up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this original one or zooming back out. You could drag your new audio just to the point that you need it, like right there, you know, so you can have it pick up where you don't want the other audio track, whoops. Okay, um, if you do that, then what you need to do is, um, while the clip is highlighted, click, it's highlighted. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to unlink. So I'm unlinking my video from my audio. So now, um, there we go. Now I can just only move that audio track back and my video is still there. Okay. So the other way to do all that, I'm going to hit undo, 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 undo. Here we are again. It's as if I just barely drug that audio clip here. Right click. I'm going to unlink my original video and audio file. Oh, they're, they're still unlinked from before. Oh, actually, maybe not. Let's look. Okay, unlink. Click on this audio that I don't want. Hit delete. And then I'm just going to drag this up because I like to have it right next to the video. My spouse, Barbara Barron.
Make sure that the audio is matching the mouth. Leonard, my Uncle Leonard's son, Grant. Looks good. So there you have it. I know that this workaround has saved hours of my time. I'm hoping to save your time as well. And if I have saved your time, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Make sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe.